well done. Great to be standing here speaking to you after a, after a victory. Yeah, it is. Um, great win for us. Tough place to come, we know that. Um, two really, really good goals to win us again. Tense at the end, wasn't it? What a finish. Yeah, I mean, six minutes injury time was, seemed a, a, an awful long time. And uh, the last ball went to the box. It's just fallen at Ben's hands last week. It probably goes in and net. It's just a little bit of luck you need. But no, that was a really good performance and the boys deserve the victory. Let's talk about that first goal. Great move, a couple of good passes. One from Harry Butterman and a great cross from Joe Newell. Yeah, Harry. Harry did a really pleasing debut. Really, really good. Good energies. Um, he's, he's come in building, done really well to fair. He deserved his chance in the team. Yeah, he's played Craig through and Craig's got Joe and great cross, great finish. A really, really good goal the first one. Yeah, some full debut for Harry Butterman up and down the park, putting a real shift for the full 90, well, 98 minutes in the end. Yeah, he's, he's got good energy as a boy and he's, he's fitted in really, really well. He's picked up the, the stuff we do in training and formations and, and tactical stuff really quickly. I've been really impressed by him actually. And lads like him, so he's, he's been a good sign. The second goal as well, uh, another player who had a very, very good game this afternoon on his full league debut uh, and a great, great free kick from Ostuma. Yeah, he's got it, in, you know, he's got that in the locker. He's scored a lot of free kicks like that last season. He's a good player, you know, if we get the ball to him in the right areas, the boy's a good player. He's been unlucky, I've said that before, probably not to start as many games. One, because probably the formations, but now going back to the diamond, you can get him in a team and he, he is very good in that position. As a striker, you probably want a player like that behind you. He was just unlucky with one or two passes, but I'm sure Craig and Aaron were, were happy with him behind him, trying to give him the service, you know. And he wins the ball back quite a lot, yeah. was getting in and amongst it, wasn't he? No, no, he's tough, he's tough enough. There's no question about that. And, he's, and it's difficult, a, a player like him, because he's always wanting to get on the ball and that's a hard thing as well. So, no, he was very, very good today. Um, the goal you conceded, though, a slight disappointment with the ball not being cleared. Well, he's got his back to goal, Batty, and Christian's trying to nick it, and as a defender, just, just let him up. He's back to goal, he's never in danger. As soon as that happened, he's taken a, a touch and finished it, and uh, I can't remember him doing that too often for when he was player for us, so I'm not aware of him after, but he, he's a, he, he was a threat back because he's quick, you know, and his pace, and we knew all about him, obviously, but I was quite surprised they brought him off, actually, but... Uh, yeah, it was a poor bit defender. I know you'd have probably been one of the calmest men in the in the building towards towards the end, but it was a long time, wasn't it, to hold on to that lead um, once you went 2-1 up? Yeah, you just hope that you see it out, and I felt one or two times in the breakaway we could have done a little bit better, uh, really to kill the game off. But we showed a good good character to, to see it through, and I, I've seen a team that was really determined to get the right result today. Um, so that was pleasing, and, and, and I'm pleased for them that they've got the result. I know, obviously, it's, uh, it's not the cure for the past eight weeks, but, of course, a step in the right direction. Yeah, it's just a start, you know, and you've got another big game again. We've got a lot of big games coming out on you because of the Christmas period, but it's just a start. It gives us the foundations to hopefully uh, go on a little run again, you know, and uh, what, what I said to the players, and when you go through runs like this, once you get to the other side, because no, no team keeps losing and no team keeps winning. It's just that's a fact of life. It will turn. It's only a matter of time when. And you want it to be sooner rather than later, but you'll come out stronger from it. And no one's getting carried away from one winning, what, eight, nine games, but we could only win the game that was in front of us, and it was today against a tough opposition. What do you think pleased you most about the performance this afternoon? There was a lot of pleasing aspects. It, the one thing about here that you have to really battle to get the win. I know their home form's not good. I know that they've only won once against Crew, but it's still a battle, and a new manager coming in and all the rest of it. We knew it was going to be a tough game. I felt first half we could have kept the ball a little bit longer at times. Uh, but there was a lot of pleasing things to take out of the game. Probably the most pleasing thing was the quality of the both goals to win us the game, really. And I suppose it ended on a slightly sour note, didn't it, with Joe Newell's second yellow card and and so frustrating for him because he's been playing so well for you. He has, and he was, he was good again today. He's really coming in at his own, I think, Joe, but he, he'll be suspended. Um, Madison will be fit. He's ill again today, so he would probably have been on a bit, well, he would have been on the bench, Marcus, but... I've got other options, but it is frustrating for Joe because he's, he is playing well. It's probably his best period since I think the last time when he was when we were in the championship. But uh, he'll be all right. He'll get on with it. So Marcus, is that what? Is that just a fluid, fluid yeah, bug he's got? He's is got, it? He's had it for. He's, we need to get him checked out really with a couple of blood tests and things. He's had it a couple of times. Picked up bugs. So uh, again, this morning he was ill, and like I say, he would have been on the bench. But another full, another week's training, and you'd like to think he'll get over that and he'll be all right. Um, you stay in ninth, but 
one of four teams now on 30 points, just back in reach of, of the, that top six. Yeah, I mean, listen, I, I'm not. Before the season and in the season, there's, there's things that you, you look at and target, and, you know, I've done that and I've said it after games as well. I don't think it's right to do it now. I think mean, we, we are actually in, in, a, in a position where you just take it a game at a time. And, you know, Preston's next, so it's another big game. And, Hopefully, get another good result. I know you'll be the first person to, to keep feet grounded and um, make sure people don't get carried away, but also obviously take all the positives from the result and from the performance this afternoon. Um, what do you say to the players? Where do, where do you go from here? I just said to them, look, after the game, I'm really pleased with them. You know, I see all the effort, and, Can we have impressions? and uh, I've not seen a team that haven't done anything or shown anything but to try and change the run we're on. I really have. I've seen glimpses of us getting back to better form in terms of on the ball. In the second half, in particular, against Colchester, and, and I've seen that again today. But um, no, I've seen a hungry team that wanted to, to do something about the bad run we've been on, and, and that's got to be the key. That's got to remain, and, it, and I'm sure it will. And the call now, isn't it? It's, it's for consistency. Yeah, consistent performances and consistent results, and hopefully um, get back to the sort of form and results we, we got to start the season. And, and hopefully we can put this behind us. But we've got to see a lot more of what we did today. It'll be a, a happier weekend and a happier week, won't it, after that result? It'll be a happier Sunday morning. <laughs> so there's no question about that. A cup of coffee will be a little easier on a Sunday morning. But no, I'm pleased for everyone because we, we were fully aware it was a big game today.